Hey guys, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and this video is designed to show you everything you need to know about the TPMS sensors in your 2015 and up Mustang. Why you need them, how to order them, and how to sync them up to your ride. For those of you guys who don't know, TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring System and it's something that was introduced on all cars in 2007. Now the actual sensor itself is located on your valve stem and the sole purpose of this system and the sensor itself is to alert you, the driver, when tire pressures reach unsafe levels. So why do you need them? Well, if you purchase brand new aftermarket wheels and tires and you do not get the sensors installed, you will trigger a warning light on the dashboard and depending on your state's laws, it might cause you to fail your local inspection. So that covers the what and the why. Now let's talk about how you order them and it's actually pretty simple. If you order any of our pre-built tire and wheel combo kits here at AmericanMuscle.com or even the single wheel by themselves, you do get the option of either purchasing the TPMS sensors or the optional tool here from a drop-down menu. Now one thing that is worth pointing out, if you have this tool from a previous generation Mustang or previous set of wheels, you do not need to order another one as it is universal. To start the syncing process with your 2015 and up Mustang, you're going to need the tool I just talked about along with your key fob. Now with the S197, you use the actual key to start the syncing process, but since the 2015 and up Mustangs utilize a start-stop button, we'll use that instead. Before getting started, make sure your cell phone is turned off and that you're at least 20 feet from other vehicles, otherwise you might interfere with the sinking process. To start, press the brake pedal and release it. After that, press the start stop button five times. On the fifth time, leave the car in the start or accessory on position. Press the brake pedal again and release it. Hit the start stop button six more times and on the sixth button push, the car's horn should sound. Letting you know you can start the sinking process. Leave the car in the start or accessory on position. At this point, follow the directions on the dash. It will tell you what tire to train, starting with the front left or driver's side tire. You'll need to aim the sinking tool at the valve stem, making sure the arrow on the tool is aligned with the valve stem itself. Hold the green button down and wait for the horn to honk. This means the tire has been synced to your ride properly. Repeat that step for the right front, right rear, and finally the left rear. If you forget the order, just look at the display in the gauge cluster. It will tell you what tire to sync next. If everything is successful, you should see training complete on the dashboard, letting you know your TPMS sensors are functioning properly. As always, if you have any more questions about this process or need additional help, feel free to reach out to a Mustang expert anytime.